क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन से थ्री यूनिट वैक्टर्स ए कैप बी कैप एंड सी कैप आर सच दैट ए कैप प्लस बी कैप इज इकल टू सी कैप द थ्री वैक्टर्स आर अरेन्ज टू फॉर्म अ क्लोज फिगर द फिगर विल बी राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल एन इक्विलेटरल ट्राइंगल आइसोसिलिस ट्राइंगल और नन ऑफ दीज डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस ड्रॉ अ वैक्टर डायग्राम टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पर्टिकुलर वैक्टर इक्वेशन If we draw triangle, we can write down that one of the sides is the a cap, the another side is b cap, and the summation of all these two sides is c cap. This is important because a plus b is equal to c, and hence they must form a closed triangle. And because all of these vectors are same magnitude, that is one. the triangle must have equal sides or sides of equal lengths which means that this particular triangle must be equilateral and as the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2 now let us proceed to the question number 22 question number 22 says a man tries to swim across a river and returns to the same bank if the man applies strokes always perpendicular to the river current and the river flows with a speed of 5 meters per second then the net displacement of the man will be it is given that speed of man in still water is 3 meters per second and width of the river is 90 meters dear students it is given that the man applies strokes always perpendicular to the river current so we can write down that the time taken to cross the river in one way will be the width of the river divided by the speed of the man with respect to river which will be 90 by 3 that is 30 seconds in the reverse direction as well the time would be taken same therefore the total time would be equal to 60 seconds that is two times of 30 the students we have to find out the net displacement of the man the net displacement of the man would be due to the river current and would be in the form of drift the total drift can be written to be equal to total time multiplied by speed of river which will be equal to 60 multiplied by speed of river that is given to be equal to 5 meter per second that is 5 so therefore the total distance will be 300 meters and as the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2 Dear students now let us proceed to the question number 23 Question number 23 says consider a position time graph for a particle undergoing rectilinear motion is as shown in the figure what information can be deduced from the graph first the particle starts its motion from origin second the velocity of the particle is uniform third the acceleration of the particle is variable fourth the particle moves towards origin Dear students let us analyze each option in itself the first option says that the particle starts its motion from origin we can see that at t is equal to 0 the position of particle is not zero which means that the particle does not starts its motion from the origin and hence option number 1 is an incorrect statement option number 2 says that the velocity of the particle is uniform dear students the velocity can be written to be equal to the slope of position time graph we can see that the slope of this graph is constant which means that the option number 2 is a correct statement now let us move to option number 3 option number 3 they says that the acceleration of the particle is variable dear students when the velocity of the particle is constant it means that the acceleration is zero because acceleration is equal to the rate of change of the velocity and hence option number 3 is an incorrect statement let us analyze option number 4 option number 4 says that the particle moves towards the origin from the given graph we can see that the position of the particle is continuously increasing therefore the particle is moving away from origin and option number 4 carries an incorrect statement and hence the final and the correct answer for this question should be option number 2 dear students now let us proceed to the question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर से इज अ बॉल स्टार्ट फॉलोइंग फ्रीली फ्रॉम रेस्ट द रेशियो ऑफ डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द पार्टिकल इन फर्स्ट हाफ सेकेंड एंड इन नेक्स्ट हाफ सेकेंड इज डे स्टूडेंट्स दिस कैन बी इजली डन बाय रिमेंबरिंग द गैलेलियन लॉ ऑफ ऑड नंबर द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल्ड बाय द पार्टिकल इन द कॉन्जिक्यूटिव हाफ सेकेंड विल बी इन द रेशियो वन इज टू थ्री इज टू फाइव इज टू सेवन इज टू नाइन एंड सो ऑन दिस इज वैलिड फॉर नॉट ओनली हाफ सेकेंड टाइम इंटरवल बट फॉर एनी सेकेंड टाइम इंटरवल फॉर एग्जाम्पल द रेशियो ऑफ द डिस्टेंस इज ट्रेवल्ड इन द फर्स्ट सेकेंड इन द सेकेंड सेकेंड एंड इन थर्ड सेकेंड वुड बेयर द रेशियो वन इज टू थ्री इज टू फाइव द आंसर हाउ एवर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज वन इज टू थ्री because we have been asked to calculate the ratio of the distance of the first half second to the next half second this makes the option number 3 of this question as the correct answer now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 25 question number 25 says a hot air balloon rises up with constant acceleration of 5 meters per second square 10 second after the balloon starts its motion a ball is dropped from it how long does ball travels before it strikes the ground Dear students, before proceeding with the solution of this question, let us first try to find out the speed of the balloon immediately before dropping the stone, and also the height of the balloon when the given ball is dropped. The height of the balloon can be written to be equal to half a t square. Here a is the acceleration, which is equal to five, and t is the time, which is equal to ten seconds. so we can write s to be equal to half into 5 into 10 square this will be equal to 250 meters the speed of the balloon immediately before the ball is dropped would be equal to the velocity of the projection of the ball as well and this can be written to be equal to a into t that will be 50 meters per second so as per the question there is a ball which is projected upward with a speed of 50 meters per second from a height of 250 meters and we have to find out the time of flight of the ball dear students when the ball reaches the ground its displacement will be minus 250 using the equation that s is equal to ut plus half at square we can write down that minus 250 would be equal to 50t minus half gt square that is 50t minus 5t square we can write down that t square minus 10t minus 50 would be equal to 0 on solving we get t to be equal to 10 plus minus under root of 10 square plus 200 divided by 2 the students the time would be therefore equal to 5 into 1 plus root 3 seconds and hence the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2 now let us proceed to the question number 26 mm -hmm.